Stepping on the scale and seeing that it has gone up can be one of the most frustrating things ever. There have been so many times where I've had a client frustrated because the scale's gone up and trust me, I've been there too. The scale used to, the scale going up used to ruin my entire day and honestly, there was no reason for it. There are reasons that the scale can go up that have nothing whatsoever to do with fat gain. So if you're like how I was, listen up because Baxter and I have some tips for you. So in this video, I'm going to give you seven little known reasons why the scale fluctuates and none of these reasons are because you gained body fat. So next time you've been working hard and then you weigh yourself and the scale's gone up, do not worry, remember these seven reasons. It's most likely gonna be one of these. Reason number one is if you eat more salt than you usually do, you are going to hold on to water weight. Now, this does not mean that you've gained body fat. It just means that you weigh more. It's the exact same as if you were going to step on a scale while holding a bottle of water. I'm gonna weigh more, but it's literally because I'm holding on to water. I'm not actually holding on to extra fat. And reason number two for scale fluctuations is if you eat more carbs than you're used to. Now, let me emphasize that carbs are not bad, but if you're eating more than you usually eat, that can cause you to retain water, which can show on the scale. It works the other way as well. So if you all of a sudden cut out all your carbs, you're gonna lose water weight really, really fast. You could lose like five to 10 pounds in a week. And does that mean you lost five to 10 pounds of fat? Nope, you just lost five to 10 pounds of water weight from cutting out carbs. So you just like took all this away and that's, that's all, that's all that happened. Okay, so reason number three for the scale fluctuating is soreness from a really hard workout. So when you lift, your body breaks down the muscle causing muscle damage. And then when the muscle is repairing itself, it's gonna take in more water and more nutrients, which is gonna make you weigh more. But obviously this is nothing to worry about as long as your nutrition and everything has been on point. It's something that's just gonna go away once that muscle soreness and post-workout water retention kind of goes away. So reason number four is drinking alcohol. <sighs> so alcohol dehydrates you, which can cause your body to retain water to compensate. So you can prevent this by drinking water in between drinks. just like that. So today I'm going to be drinking wine and having a large portion of Pad Thai, both of which are things on this list that can cause you to hold water weight. I've already had a little bit of this wine, if you can't tell. <laughs> so if I was a person that weighed myself, I would remind myself not to panic when I weigh myself tomorrow and the scale has gone up, but I do not weigh myself. So that is not a panic that crosses my mind. Ta-da! Okay, so reason number five that the scale can fluctuate is that if you eat more later at night than you usually do, and then you weigh yourself in the morning. This is not to say, don't eat by a certain time because you can't lose weight. No, it's literally that you ate late at night and then you're weighing yourself early in the morning and your body has not had time to digest and that's gonna reflect on the scale. It's the same idea as when you're going onto the scale holding a bottle of water. It's not fat gain, you're just holding more. So you're gonna weigh more. Reason number six is if you have high levels of cortisol. What is cortisol, you may ask? Well, it's stress. Yay, stress. Unfortunately, stress can make you hold water weight and look bloated. So again, that can be a reason behind the scale fluctuating. And the good news is, as soon as you're less stressed, 
you'll lose the water weight and it can even look like you lost body fat. I know that I've had this happen where literally overnight I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh my gosh, I look like I lost 10 pounds. Okay, definitely not that much, but I'll look tighter and leaner all because of some stress that just went away. So you kind of got to wait it out for this one, which is super annoying, but it's just the facts. So this actually explains why sometimes when people either add in calories or have a cheat meal, they see the scale go down. And that's because when their body was on so few calories, their body was stressed. So then by adding in some extra food, the stress was released and the water weight was gone. But really, I've definitely had this happen to me. I've had times where for weeks I've been stressed about something and then that thing comes and passes and then the next day, what do I know? I wake up shredded. Not necessarily that much. It's not obviously to that extreme, but it can be pretty significant. You can look more tight and lean. So keep in mind the unfortunate life thing of stress that can bring that can that can make the scale go up. And scale fluctuation reason number seven is my favorite hormones just kidding it's not my favorite i don't think this is anybody's favorite but it's unavoidable so before or during your period <laughs> it's possible that you're gonna weigh more on the scale it's possible that you're gonna see scale fluctuations because that's what comes with the territory. Woohoo! So definitely keep that in mind. If you're getting near and the scale starts going up, 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 and you've been on track, have no fear, your period is here. So I'm going to conclude this video by saying that the scale should not be your only way of tracking your progress. Pictures and measurements are so, they're so much more realistic because they show you the actual changes that are happening. Because at the end of the day, who really cares what the scale says if you're seeing physical changes? I stopped wearing myself years ago. It was for me just not mentally help not healthy mentally and I only use photos now and if you're somebody who gets really really stressed over the scale I definitely suggest that you take a similar route because like I always say mental health is just as important as physical health. If you found this video helpful check out the links in my description box for details on my coaching and we also have a Black Friday sale coming up which something tells me that's gonna be the biggest sale of the year so stay tuned for that and i will see you in the next video bye